Ladies and gentlemen, our potential as a nation is undeniably dependent on the health of our population. There's a saying that an organization's human resource is its greatest resource. I feel that, that this is also applicable to countries. For instance, we can have all the oil and gas the world needs under our soil, but if there's nobody with the acumen to tap those resources and convert them into a viable industry, they would not be of great value to us. In order for the nation and society to reap maximum benefits from their resources, the health of the population is crucial. Without health, we would be unable to achieve our fullest potential. That is why the government's vision 2020 for health clearly states a nation empowered to live long, healthy, happy, and productive lives. The late Eric Williams, father of the nation, once said, our children carry the future of Trinidad and Tobago in their book bags. This was indeed a very potent statement, as it means that the level of development and advancement that the country will achieve in the years ahead is heavily dependent on the younger ones, or the young ones. This initiative was undertaken by the Ministry of Health, working in close collaboration with the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Social Development to develop a comprehensive policy and guidelines for ensuring that the children of Trinidad and Tobago are supported to achieve their optimal health and development. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an urgent priority as threats to child health and development abound in Caribbean societies and indeed in societies and communities worldwide. One such threat is that posed by chronic diseases. Currently, the English-speaking Caribbean is facing a chronic disease epidemic. I choose to repeat that all the time because it is important that as a people we understand that there is in fact an epidemic. When we hear about an H1N1 epidemic or whatever it be the epidemic, or pandemic for that matter, we, we, we panic. But this is sufficient cause for us to take serious note. So that chronic non-communicable diseases or CNCDs are now the leading cause of premature mortality in our region, accounting for nearly half the deaths of persons under 70 years and for two out of three deaths overall. What to me is most alarming, however, is that the epidemiology of the most prevalent diseases in Trinidad and Tobago has changed. In schools, the number of obese children has increased significantly, giving rise to the development of diabetes and other chronic diseases at a much earlier age. A survey of, ma of body mass index of children in primary and secondary schools in Trinidad and Tobago conducted in 2009 revealed that 24% or just about a quarter of children were overweight or obese. This epidemiological transition has resulted because of a significant shift in our dietary patterns. It is characterized by decreased consumption of fiber and the parallel increased consumption of foods rich in saturated fats, salt and processed foods, and sugar-rich soft drinks. Ladies and gentlemen, the ability of children to develop and become productive adults is greatly influenced by their education, health, and socioeconomic status, among other determinants of child development. School health has been identified as one of the most efficient and cost-effective ways to improve students' health and development as their performance and ability to learn is enhanced by them being in optimal health. I repeat that, their performance and ability to learn is enhanced by them being in optimal health. Thank you.